shank through the heart, and your defense is to blame. You give Edinburgh a bad name. Da -da 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 -da. Get Lauren Shanklin to Rangers, and 56 will be guaranteed. Welcome back to Folk Football. Some Bon Jovi there for Folk Football, but hips tonight were Bon Jovi because they were shite. It was a shite game, but it doesn't matter when you've got the best striker in the league. You can be shite for 92 minutes because you know this guy will finish it in the 94th. Yep, that's exactly what happened. You know what? I've got so much praise for this game, but I've got so much, you know, burial for this game. I thought the first 15 minutes were... Great atmosphere. Atmosphere's brilliant. You know, you've got a full set of away fans. You've got fucking dodgy penalties being handed out. Back, back, and, back and forward game. End to end stuff. But then it kind of died down towards the end of the first half and second half. It just never really got going. No, I never did in the second half. It was pretty... I mean, the quality-wise, it was diabolical at points, man. No one could string a pass together. But, you know, what? the first 15 minutes, atmosphere was buzzing. It was what? The old form is missing recently when no proper block of away fans we've had recently, of course, like 800. And then the most recent game, none. And Chris Sutton was uh, keen to point out that uh, he wishes all derbies were like this. Which is uh, one quarter full in uh, one half, one quarter of the stadium full of the away support. And I agree, you know what? See, as much as uh, tonight's game is proof, that's what needs to happen. Now here, see if, see if Rangers win on Saturday, it's going to be epic. But imagine if they could celebrate in front of like 8,000 or whatever, 10,000 Rangers fans at the away end. How much better would that be? Like the old days. But no, people don't want to give up their season tickets in here. I'll admit, the reason why Rangers scrapped that is because Celtic were scudding them every game. Right, well, we're not here to talk about the shitey, uh... Fucking ugly sisters for Glasgow. We're, we're here to talk about the ugly brothers we're, 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 Aye, that's exactly what we're here to talk we about. We haven't won a league title and fuck knows. And probably won't ever win a league title again, but still. We're here to talk about them. Hibs now, Hearts won. Hearts now consolidate their place in the league in Ford, although Kilmarnock also won. So it looks like those two are beginning to pull away now. Hibernian and St Mirren, who were in fifth and sixth, both obviously lost tonight. So... It's looking like it could be between Hearts and Kilmarnock for that third place. Hearts' next seven games come against teams that are currently in the bottom six as well. So Hearts now have a good chance to push on, I think, and, and go on and win this. But let's talk about the... Not go on and win it, go on and get third place. But let's talk about the beginning of the games and speaking of pushing on. Shankland pushed his penalty onto the post. Ferry on Shankland, like, didn't expect him to miss it. If the goalkeeper saves it, that's one thing. But for Shankland to miss, I was borderline shocked because it's the first penalty he's missed for Hearts. I just did not see this coming. Hearts looking to go off to the best start imaginable. Rocky Bashuri diving with his arm up in the air. I mean, it's, it's harsh in the fact that it's a penalty out of absolutely nothing. But he does have his hand up in the air and the ball hits it, so... Yeah, it's a penalty. You can't have any complaints, but it's a dumb penalty to give away. Yeah, you shouldn't put your hand that high up. Uh, I mean, you can't complain about it now. If it was a Rangers penalty, I'm sure there would be complaining going on about it. But Lauren Shanklin's missed. And you're thinking, right, that would have been the perfect start for Hearts to take a lead. But they actually get two penalties missed in the first 15 minutes. They're clear penalties for me. They're Kyle Rose, he handballs it as well. Martin Boyle steps up. But this one's actually a good save for Clark. Hits onto the post. And then... Zero, zero. Two penalties missed, and it's like, all right, Pyro getting wung onto the park, which I'm all right for if it's yeah, missed penalties. No shots on target, and apart from Boyle's penalty, up until like almost, I think it was the hour mark, which is pretty damn poor to be honest. Alan Forrest, I think, had Hearts' first. No, Alex Cochrane, sorry, had Hearts' first shot on target. Um, Shankland, I mean, he didn't have the greatest game, but I think he was being starved of support, to be real. Uh, Hibs looked probably the best. I think Hibs looked more likely to score, i got to be honest. I don't think... I, I wouldn't say Hibs deserved the win, but I think the, if anyone was going to score, I think it looked more likely to be them. Yeah, I think Hearts were really poor on the second half. I think the longer it went on, Hibs looked like it. and then, But that's the difference, right? Hibs, the Hibs have lost Nisbet. We can talk about Fenty and that other... What's that other guy who's like 36? Boyle, Yuan. Uh, you know, they've got players that can score, but they don't have a Shankland. And 
That's when seeing you have a good striker, you can play pitch for 92 minutes, but you can score in the 93rd minute. Although uh, Johan did come on and absolutely wreck Kingsley, not once but twice. McGeady spins. With some of the some great trickery like. So I mean that <laughs> I mean that was a good moment for a Hibs perspective, I guess, but the best moment was the 93rd minute when Shankland put Hibs to bed. Yeah. Without their supper. I mean, it's it's just a great goal. I mean, no goal in the world saves that, man. No, brilliant strike. It's I mean, a wee RB. It's a wee RB and B shot in FIFA. I mean, left foot it into the top bins, curls around the goalkeeper. You're just no saving that. There's not many strikers, I think, in the league that can do this, to be fair. If any. Yeah, if any. Like, but, people say Boyd's better, but when he said Kyogo can't do that, he can't. Kyogo is... Kyogo's great at what he does, but... And under Rodgers, he's not really doing anything, but this is Shanklin to a T. I mean, look at his goal against St Mirren last week. Great goal. This goal, this goal is right up there as well. Guy doesn't score tap-ins. No, well, there he was, but he scores every sort of goal. There was a stat that was a little bit alarming during the game. Hearts' second highest goal scorer of the season outside of Shanklin, his own goals. And when I heard that, I, I couldn't believe it. Now, I know that outside of Shanklin... <laughs> No one's really been scoring, but for own goals to be contributing to the second biggest amount, I mean, that's just not right. And it makes you wonder, I mean, where would Hearts be without Lauren Shankland? And considering the fact a lot of these games, they don't concede, but they don't score. Now, I get it, right? If you take Lauren Shankland at the team, then obviously you're playing somebody else in his place, and that gives them the opportunity to score the goals that Shankland scores, but would they? I mean, I'm looking at likes of Oda and, and Fargas and etc. I don't really see those guys contributing to the goal tally that Shankland is. So I think this is going to be a massive January coming up. And I think Hearts need to say no. I don't think Hearts at the moment are a team that can afford to get rid of Lauren Shankland. I just don't see it. I mean, he's the captain. He's the only guy that can score a goal. He is the definition of a match winner. This is a guy that, I mean, Shankland is the difference between drawing games and winning games. And at the end of the season, how many points will Shankland win you? I mean, you're talking double figures at least. Easily, but I'm going to disagree. He needs to go because Rangers need him. I think your Rangers signed Shankland, the league's done. The guy is guaranteed goals. I've seen links with Fan Fiend for Rangers, but let's just keep it to hearts. Um, I think if you sign Shankland, you do win the league. Rangers have got big issues up front across the pitch. I mean, this guy just offers so many goals. And what Rangers need is if someone's playing shite, they can still bag a goal or two. Because, I mean, realistically, look at Sam Lammers. It doesn't matter if he... Well, I mean, I was going to say if he plays good. He doesn't play good, but he doesn't score goals. Dessert's played good recently, but seeing he was playing bad, he was contributing nothing. That's what you need. A guy to get... I mean, I'm not going to lie. Shankland had quite a few chances tonight, but nothing were clear cut. Were they really? Part for the penalty. Ah, the penalty. Was like, most of the other chances he created himself, it was just long balls hoofed up and he took the defender on and got a shot away. A couple of decent saves from Marshall. But in my opinion, Rangers sign Shankland, they win the league. But uh, in my opinion, this Embra Derby is over. If Hearts keep Shankland, do they win the league? No, they're too far back. Yeah, nice try. Anyway, guys, there you go. That is now seven wins for Hearts in their last nine games. Is it That's Stephen not... A. Smith in? It's, at the moment, it's Stephen A. Smith in. What's you and Cameron got to say? Fuck you and Cameron, he's a knob. But yeah, for me, it's uh, it's Shankland in, it's Stevie Naismith in, and it's uh, keeping the Rangers' bids out. And not just Rangers, I mean, surely Celtic must be looking at Lauren Shankland nah, as well. he wouldn't go there. Would he not, no? He's, he, he, he puts orange marmalade on his toast, that's it, for sure. Anyway, there you go, guys. Go celebrate, have some orange marmalade. What a great night in Edinburgh. Brilliant stuff. Hearts won. Hibernian now. And, uh, yeah, looking forward now to the weekend. And Scottish football is back. It's back with a bang. And it's back with Shankland destroying Hibs. So catch you in the next one, guys. Till then, peace. <laughs>